గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ మై సెల్ఫ్ డాక్టర్ బి కొండారెడ్డి అసిస్టెంట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ ట్రిపుల్ ఎయిటీ ఆర్కే వెళ్ళి ఆర్జీ కేటీఏసి టుడే ఐఎమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ హీ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ లెటర్ సి వాట్ ఆర్ ఆల్ ది కోర్స్ ఆబ్జెక్టివ్స్ ఆఫ్ దిస్ హీ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ ఫస్ట్ లెటర్స్ ఐడెంటిఫై ది మోడ్స్ ఆఫ్ హీ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ దెన్ లిస్ట్ ఆన్ ది అప్లికేషన్స్ ఆఫ్ హీ ట్రాన్స్ఫర్ explain the theory behind conduction convection and radiation and familiarize the students how to solve the heat transfer problem okay first what is the heat transfer heat transfer is a process of transfer of heat from high temperature reservoir to lower temperature reservoir in a given system until the temperature gradient takes place if there is no temperature gradient there is no heat transfer until there is a uh, existence of temperature gradient then only heat will flow okay let us see what are the modes of heat transfer in our daily life there are three types of uh, heat transfer three modes of heat transfer one is conduction two is convection third one is radiation in conduction heat is transferred from higher temperature to lower temperature in a solid or a stationary fluid let us see there is a temperature higher temperature on left side and lower temperature on right side there is transfer of heat occurs similarly in convection heat transfer convection takes place from a surface to a moving fluid or vice versa rate of heat is a transfer from a surface to moving fluid okay. and there is a temperature difference between surface and the fluid okay next one is the radiation heat transfer radiation between two surfaces exists until there is a temperature gradient okay these things we will discuss in detail in the next slide first let us see applications of heat transfer heat transfer we can come across in our daily life in various situations especially in engineering we have various situations like heat exchanger those are boilers the heaters the refrigerators the radiators the heat is transferred from higher temperature to lower temperature fluid or one fluid to other fluid okay in power plants steam or gas turbine there is heat transfer takes place in the uh, turbine blades in order to withstand the temperature limit we have to cool down those blades otherwise it will get stresses thermal stresses and then it will break in case of cooling of electric and electronic components all these devices are operating with a limited temperature that is specified by the manufacturer within this allowable temperature limit these components should work otherwise they will fail coming to chemical or process plant if we want heat transfer between chemical reaction if we want to see either heating or cooling of a uh, chemical reaction there only the chemical reaction takes place so if we want to add heat we can add or if we want to remove the heat we can remove the uh, heat insulation system in order to avoid burning burning and uh, other uh, hazards 
the heat carrying pipes they are supposed to insulate right and if there is a sonar system application in which whatever the heat energy coming from the sun is tapped into mechanical work or electrical energy right in this in this uh, application also then the transfer of heat will analyze coming to biological system we human being and the plants animals all living thing they have its own temperature or heat they will release the heat to ambient or they will get heat from the surrounding in that situation also we will analyze heat transfer coming to manufacturing industry there if we want to make a component there should be some machining processes during which heat is released or sometimes if the heat is required to add we can add these are all the applications of heat transfer in in general okay now let us go to discuss about modes of heat transfer one by one conduction heat transfer in which the transfer of energy from more energetic to less energetic particles of a substance due to interaction between the particles the interaction it may be translational motion of free electrons or lattice lattice vibration the conduction rate equation is known as fourier's law of conduction for the one dimensional plane wall the heat flux is heat transfer rate per unit area that is equal to minus k dt by dA in differential form in discrete form k dt delta t by l here minus sin k heat is transfer in the direction of lowering the temperature the proportionality constant k is a transport property of a material we call it as a thermal conductivity okay. here we can observe the thermal conductivity values for gases liquid and solid thermal conductivity value increases from gases to solid now let us discuss convection heat transfer it is a transfer of energy from the surface to the fluid by random molecular motion and the bulk motion of fluid within the boundary layer you can observe here there is a boundary layer and the fluid is flowing over a flat surface the heat is a transfer to transfer from solid surface to fluid in two ways one is a random molecular motion other one is bulk motion of fluid okay. in the addition to the surface there is a random molecular motion away from the surface it is bulk motion of fluid the convection rate equation is known as newton's law of cooling the heat flux is h into ps minus t temperature difference between the surface and fluid and heat transfer coefficient this is heat transfer coefficient depends on the conditions of boundary layer maybe velocity or surface roughness of the body and the properties of the fluid okay. here generally the h value varies from free convection Closer convection, convection into phase space. These are the typical values we can observe. So, in convection heat transfer, if the fluid is flowing with some external agency, then we call it as a forced convection. The fluid is flowing with 
temperature difference or buoyancy density difference then we call it as a free convection heat transfer in these two cases the heat is transferred to the fluid as a sensible heat if we want to, to transfer heat in the form of latent heat either boiling or condensation application we can observe. Now let us see radiation heat transfer. The energy of radiation field is transported by electromagnetic wave or photon. The emissive power of a black body also called Stephen Boltzmann's law. Emissive power of black body is equal to sigma into Ts to the power of 4 heat flux emitted by real surface is epsilon sigma ts to the power of 4 and epsilon is emissivity. The net rate of radiation heat also from the surface is from uh, between two surfaces epsilon sigma ts to the power of 4 minus t surroundings to the power of 4. This is a diagram we can observe. These are the three modes of heat transfer. Thank you.